Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Rust. Bid, Bid Draj here with you. Um, now you might notice, uh, compared to the last video, my base looks actually significantly different. Uh, that's because I actually went on to a PvP server. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for PvP. It's a little bit more interesting, but <clears throat> it can be a lot harder. Alright. My base is a little bit different than before, like I said. It is mainly all metal. Uh, you'll notice I have a lot of turrets, and I've actually got very lucky with uh, just finding turrets. So there is that. So... Yeah, I got very lucky with that. I have two turrets on my base floor, and I have a couple turrets on my second floor. Just in case somebody decided that they were going to go and try to take over my area. Now, it's been a little while since I last played. Uh, I haven't really been feeling it when it comes to playing Rust lately, so I've just been kind of doing different games as you have seen uh, today was going to be a Dark Souls video uh, but <coughs> it was one of those things where I wanted to go do the video and I just got completely stomped so I was like you know what I'll just do it on a different day and I actually plan on doing it maybe possibly tomorrow so there is that. Uh, so now I'm actually a little bit higher level in this one than my other one. But as you can see, there's not too much different going on. But at first I wasn't sure if I liked the new level up system. Uh, but actually after a while, I realized how nice it kind of actually is because you as you can see, you're not really gaining much of the green bar XP to unlock stuff. And you're really not gaining a whole lot in your level. So I think they found a good way to actually make it so it's a little bit harder just to be overpowered within a very short time span. Uh, which is actually quite nice. Uh, I'm not one for enjoying games when somebody can become overpowered very quickly. As you take notice though, as most of my Rust playthroughs, I'm usually near the dome. But this time I'm actually near a couple things. There's a dome right there to the... Well, directly to the south of my base, and south of that is actually the water tower. Uh, I do like to mix it up just a little bit, but I do like certain areas more than others. <coughs> Mostly because I like to get the resource factors. Now, there hasn't been an update the past few weeks. Because this week, actually, I have... I didn't have to do any downloads at all for Rust. So... Slightly disappointing in that regard, but... They've been doing updates like every week for a while now, so it's understandable if for a change that they actually don't have anything. <coughs> and now that the actual blueprint things are gone, I know I may have said in the other video that I wasn't sure how I liked it. Uh, after experimenting more and more and more with this, I actually prefer it this way with the XP system than I did with having to go out and find blueprints. Why? Because this way at least uh, you're always gaining. Uh, I have died with XP. It didn't seem to affect my level and it didn't seem to affect my uh, unlocking XP. So that, that part was pretty good actually. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Research paper. What's that? Ah. 
Oh. Okay, so they do have them back in. Uh, so there was at least an update. It's been a couple weeks since I have played. So it looks like they did actually add in a way at least to make the... research table useful again I'm guessing that's what that's for the blueprint tables this way they're actually still useful um, so that's going to be kind of nice come here syringe there we go syringes are really useful for uh, oh I guess I'm pushing that button for uh, <clears throat> healing because they actually heal quite a bit. Ah, oh, come on me. <clears throat> Usually I have no problem doing this. Alright, I'll just fall down. <clears throat> I don't like doing that because it does, you know, hurt your guy a little bit. But, yeah, the game still controls pretty good. Uh, certain things I think are getting better and better. Like, I really do, I really like uh, how just the worlds are. Now this server, there's no weather, so you're not going to see much of that, if at all, during an episode, because I am actually going to keep my episodes shorter when playing Rust. I might like raid one monument like this per episode. Uh, I don't believe there's actually many people on this server, unfortunately. If there is, I have never really seen them. I've seen one talk once, and that was it. Other than the admin. Uh, he, he's pretty friendly. Uh, so I'm getting enough of those cameras. Like, I've noticed those are actually a little bit more easier to obtain, and that's for the auto turrets. Because the game makers actually said they would rather they want to see more and more done with stuff like the turrets because they actually wanted to see them used because before I mean it was even before with the research tables or the blueprints it was so hard to get not only the supplies to make uh, an auto turret but just to let alone to unlock it you actually had better luck um, finding the blueprint than you did anything else. Which usually that would take almost the full entire cycle. Now it's actually relatively easy to get. Well, in terms of finding and unlocking it. Well, finding it. And especially the supplies for it. Now, what level it takes to unlock it, I have no idea. Uh, I'm level 16, and I think it was around level 14 I started getting into being able to make guns. Uh, of course, you know, you start out with a water pipe shotgun, and you start slowly going up your way. Uh, but there's actually a few guns I can unlock. I really wanted to. There's the bow. I did unlock the crossbow. But yeah, there's the ego pistol. That was the first one. Then the water pump. Then the revolver. Then the double barrel. I do like the double barrel. But I have found enough guns to make me say, okay, I don't really need to make one yet. But if I do, that'd be the route I'd go. Is probably make the double barrel. Well, there, maybe actually the revolver. But yeah, a lot of people rush through this, and I've seen more people die than I've actually seen people get to the top. Because everybody wants a rush. Matter of fact, the one uh, server I was on, I actually had a person behind me. Now, if it was a PvP server, that would have been horrible, but it was a PvE, so the damage was reflective. And he thought he could have me hurry up across that by shooting at me. Well, it's just like, 
you can shoot at me all you want. It's not going to make me move any faster. Ah, for really the simple ooh three for for the simple fact that if he actually shoots me, it's going to just hurt him and not me. But then as soon as he had an opening to get ahead of me, he went to go run and he fell right off the edge. It's just like, yep, was it worth it? <laughs> and he didn't even fall at this part. This is like the hardest part right here. You gotta make sure you line up just right. And I'm a little bit too far to the right or left yet. There we go. Whoa. Getting the controls here. That's how you do that. It's pretty easy to actually get to the top as long as you can actually take your time. If you were pressured, that could be hard to do. So, I mean, if you want to get good at that, in case you want to go to PvP, highly populated world, uh, I would suggest a lot of practice. Or, unless you're good at parkouring like that go for it okay see now I do see a building over there but that building is to the uh, water plant and I'm not really seeing anything else there is a shelter that was actually kind of below my base but that was actually the admin I wasn't really too thrilled with him and I actually uh, kind of let him have it a little bit because I actually found the flamethrower and some grenades and I kind of took them to his oh and uh, satchel charges kind of took them to his uh, base he built down below and went inside and wrecked it up quite a bit kind of teach him you know let's not build at my base and I didn't know it was his at first if I would have known, I probably would have left it go. But at the same time, it's just like I was kind of glad I did it because it's just like, well, I, I don't want people building near my base because I don't want attention drawn to my area. It's just it could make it for a rough time for me. But it's looking like this is what I like about the guns is you kind of get that little bit of a zoom. Now if I had the scope, I'd be able to get more of a zoom in going. But... <coughs> there's at least somewhat of a zoom. Yeah, see there, that's the building he built. And if I had a rocket launcher, I would destroy it from up here. And yeah, see, you've seen his, and then right up top of my base. It's just like, come on, dude. Alright, what do we got over here? Anything? Not really seeing anything. I mean, there's a platform there. I think that was from one of my hunting posts. I mean, I could go down there and check it out. Just in case. But it looks like nobody actually built around me, so that's actually a good feeling. Okay, let's head down there. Let's see what that is. And if it's something built by another player, let's destroy it. Except if it's stone. Maybe if it's stone, I might just let it go. Because I can't... I don't really have the capability to destroy it yet. And that's what's nice about this new XP system. People can't just go in and destroy your... Uh, everything you build up very quickly very fast as soon as you get the stone do it here's a quick way down go that way you'll take some damage but uh it's a lot faster and you'll get that item then on your way down and then here just back up as you're falling and you won't take any damage and if you have stuff like a med kit you're golden <clears throat> the large med kit will heal you for a good amount, plus some overtime health, so it's worth it. Alright, I'm getting a lot of pistol ammo, though. kind of glad I have the 
SMG because it uses the pistol ammo. I actually got one from airdrop very early on and it's been very beneficial to me ever since. Now there's another place you can go over there you can drop down but I sure I have that medical syringe I'll show you that then too. So after you drop down there just come up here a little bit as if you're going to go to the middle stage as you can see right there it is <clears throat> but if you go this way you can actually do that drop down to here take a little bit of damage drop down to here take a little bit more and then you're free so it's like why not uh, the one thing I did test actually and this is off camera I was testing to see if you couldn't build underwater and you can build underwater but you're kind of limited to what you can do with that because uh, I built a small structure and by that I mean like I built a single platform and then what I did was I built up around it because I wanted to see okay if I build four walls into a structure will it keep out the water? And the answer is no, it will not keep out the water. It will not drain the water, it will not keep out the water, etc, etc. It's basically like saying it's not even there, so you're better off not even bothering yet, unless you just like the look of the water underneath your base or surrounding your base. That is the best way to look at it. <clears throat> which I think in my next episode in, for Rust at least uh, instead of doing what I've been doing which you know it, it's fine and all it's just uh, it might be a little while to make another Rust video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make it again on on a PvP server maybe one that has a little bit more going on to it than this one does. That's another thing. Remember, um, you can actually make fishing traps, and if you use your mushrooms like that, you can actually catch fish. So it's beneficial to try to actually get mushrooms when you first start out, because you will be able to use them. It's just not for what you probably expected. Okay, I do have two syringes, so let's. Let's use the one. Worst comes to if I run into a wolf, I'll be, well, a bear, I'll be damaged, but not too badly. <coughs> this is what's nice about the PvP servers is you can actually, hey, we'll see what happens at level 17. Okay, armor door, landmines. Oh. I love landmines. Okay, so not a whole lot of major stuff, but like I said, I got landmines. So let's unlock these landmines. Ah, I need 13 XP. Well, that's easily remedied. Well, not quite gotta be a faster way to get XP. Now we'll chop down one more tree and then we'll go back to the base and build it up a bit. That'll give me some XP. Oh. Also, hopefully, if this is anything down here, we'll be able to see if it's actually worth destroying or not. Assuming I'm actually, yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay. I was just saying, assuming I'm actually going the right way. Ah, uh, yep. It looks like it. Oh, it was my helicopter hiding area. That's right. There's a helicopter nearby. So what I'll do is I'll build it near a cliff, <clears throat> and then go ahead and hide inside. 
it gives just enough that the helicopter can't see you. So that, that's actually something to keep in mind as you play Rust. If you're doing, if you see, hear a helicopter out and about, or even a bear, try to always have some wood on you. Because if you have wood on you, it'll really help you out saving your hide. Um, bears, you'll always actually hear, if you have good headphones or a good sound system, you always hear a bit of a rumbling. So, try to keep your headset or volume decent, this way you can actually hear the bear coming. Because that's actually, I th believe it's intended to make sure people can hear it, this way they can actually get uh, somewhat of a heads up compared to just getting mauled by a bear and never knowing what happened. Alright, well, I'm not really seeing a bear or anything down here. That platform was purely for the sake of hiding, so nothing really going on down here. So I'm going to make my way up back up to base. See what all I got going for the small furnaces. Yeah, I believe the research paper is actually for the research tables. So, <clears throat> this way in case you get an item, you can probably take enough, if you get enough of those research papers, you can take it to that and actually unlock it before normal, as long as you have enough papers. It doesn't look like the papers are overly common, so that'll actually help out too from people not getting too overly powered too quickly. So developers, uh, you're doing really good at balancing out the game. I, I'll give you that. You're doing really good on that. <clears throat> Third's a little rough today, sorry about that. Okay, for the next episode, I believe what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can see, there's some icebergs out that way. I'm actually going to try to, I'll get close to one to see how it looks at the base. If the base, if I can't build at the base, I won't bother trying this. But uh, I'm going to try to build so I'm on top of the base, or on top of the iceberg. Also, the nice little thing about with the... Uh, being in a PvP world, now that I have landmines, I have been using them. As you can see, yeah, there's snap traps around my house. Uh, not completely around because I haven't gotten that many yet. <clears throat> but in these bushes around my base, there's landmines. The only sad thing is, I don't remember which bushes have it and which bushes don't. So yeah, I try to avoid them now. <clears throat> I can actually upgrade my door if I were to unlock it. Okay, these. I usually log out with the metal already cooking. This way I can Oh wow. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, you don't have much either, so I'm not even going to start this one up. This one, I don't know, I kind of don't like using it too often. Alright, we're going to do this. Okay, just take a portion of that, through that with that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a nice little base. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of keen on having things set up a certain way, as you can see. I like having so much extra only. I don't mind having extra ammunition, but only so much of this kind of stuff. 
I guess I could show you this. Uh, the satchel charge actually isn't too great. Because it, it has the beacon grenades, so their fuses are not 100% accurate. Where they might explode uh, very quickly, or they might explode very... Well, it might take forever. It reminds me, I want, oh that's right, I wanted to be able to build walls, uh, high walls, before I get that set up. Uh, yeah, I like to keep uh, extra food in at least one of my chests, this way, in case I need it, I have it. See, the benefit of building where I did is I don't have a lot of people coming up here. The downfall is... Uh, it's a little bit harder to get uh, certain supplies, but I have the added benefit of more defense around my structure. Okay, let's drop those. I don't need those. <clears throat> There's something I wanted to throw. Oh, yeah. I'll throw those in there for now. I also took notice as you repair stuff, it does diminish. Okay, let's uh, let's see what's next to be built up. I mean, all my flooring is fine, my walls are all fine, which actually kind of surprised me. I thought for sure, because I, like I said, I haven't played this for probably a couple weeks. I thought for sure somebody would have had tried to bust in, but no, I mean everything's fine. <clears throat> The only thing I can build to upgrade from here is the armored doors, or armored walls, which takes a lot of high quality metal. I mean, it's rightfully so, but it seems very punishing. Yeah, I have a couple turrets up here too. Now, my goal was to have one, two more turrets, one over there, one over here, to build up. Okay, everything looks pretty good in here, so I'm going to start building... Ooh, I've actually missed a wall. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, now. Uh, last time I was actually building up my support beam structures. I do this, this way it's more solid going the whole way up. You know, having structures like this. Not so much uh, having them the top of the line, but... It's like, why not? That'll help uh, increase the durability as well as keep my structure as strong as it possibly can. I don't know about you, but when you get to build a building like this, you kind of want it to last as long as you can. Oh, and... Huh. They must have redid some of the blueprint uh, layouts. Because I was able to make uh, those beds before and I just unlocked it again. So, yeah, I guess they wanted to make it a little bit higher level. They, maybe they thought it was a little bit too soon. Okay, let's empty out this SMG. What do we have up here? Uh, I have another SMG. Two more SMGs that are fully charged. So we'll just throw that there. Alright, that'll do it for this video. I almost forgot to show you my little light. It's kind of nice for when it's nighttime. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That'll do it for this one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys!